Basquiat's Legacy In the intricate tapestry of contemporary art, few names resonate as powerfully as Jean-Michael Basquiat. His presence, though ephemeral in time, transcends the canvases he skillfully filled with his vibrant palette. In this exploration, we delve into the lasting legacy of Basquiat, examining how his bold brushstrokes and provocative spirit continue to reverberate in the currents of contemporary artistic creation. Basquiat's impact on the contemporary art scene is multifaceted, with the most obvious expression being the continued presence of his works in world-renowned galleries. His creations, marked by crown skulls, schematic figures, and a profusion of words and symbols have become recognizable visual icons. Contemporary artists, influenced by his unique aesthetic, explore and reinterpret these elements in a constant dance between homage and reinvention. The symbolic richness of Basquiat's works has become an endless source of inspiration. Crown skulls, for example, transcend mere stylistic elements. They are symbols evoking themes of royalty, death, and identity. Contemporary artists like Banksy and Keedy Wiley explore the symbolic power in their own works, adding deep layers of meaning to the visual tradition established by Basquiat. The cryptic language permeating Basquiat's works has also found an echo in the creations of many contemporary artists. The use of words and phrases, often fragmented and disjointed, has become a powerful tool for expressing social and individual complexities. Basquiat's visual poetry, fueled by his own experience and the tensions of the urban environment, resonates in the works of artists like Jenny Holzer and Barbara Kruger, who explore the power of language in visual form. The exploration of racial and social issues, a striking feature in Basquiat's works, remains a pulsating current in contemporary art. Artists like Kara Walker and Glenn Legan, inspired by Basquiat's courage in addressing racial injustice and the complexities of identity, continue to bring to the forefront narratives that are often silenced. Basquiat's influence is not just aesthetic, it is a call to action, an invitation to question norms and challenge power structures. The intersection between high and low culture, skillfully explored by Basquiat, has also found fertile ground in contemporary art. The collaboration between artists from different mediums, the appropriation of elements from pop Basquiat's presence in popular culture, far from traditional galleries, is also a dimension of his enduring legacy. His iconic figure, immortalized in documentaries, films, and referenced in music, transcends the restricted world of art for contemporary artists. Aware of Basquiat's influence in broader spheres of culture, explore the interconnection between art and everyday life, recognizing that artistic expression can flourish in diverse spaces. For technology, increasingly shaping contemporary experience is also a realm where Basquiat's legacy manifests. The rapid dissemination of images and ideas, a feature of the digital age, echoes the instantaneous and impactful nature of Basquiat's works on the streets of New York. The fusion of art and technology, explored by artists like J.R. and Olafur Eliasson, resonates with Basquiat's ability to transcend the bounds of the convention of artistic education. Another crucial aspect of Basquiat's legacy is evident in his influence on young artists and educational programs. Initiatives promoting artistic expression in urban communities, inspired by Basquiat's journey, seek to provide a space for voices that might otherwise remain silent. Basquiat's commitment to authenticity, self-teaching, and the democratization of art continues to inspire access to creative expression in diverse environments. Exploring Jean-Michael Basquiat's enduring legacy in contemporary art is a profound immersion into the transformative influence of a visionary. His ability to transcend categories, to challenge norms, and to provoke social dialogues resonates in every contemporary brushstroke. Basquiat is not just a name engraved in art galleries. He is a force that continues to inspire artists to question, to challenge, and to express the complexities of the world we inhabit. His legacy is a vibrant tapestry woven with threads of innovation, resilience, and the eternal pursuit of artistic authenticity. Additionally, it is possible to highlight some artists 
whose work is a clear testimony to the lasting influence of the urban art icon. The mysterious British street artist shares many stylistic and conceptual parallels with Basquiat. The preference for impactful social messages, often conveyed through images and slogans, reveals a deep connection with Basquiat's provocative approach. Resistance to excessive commercialization of art and the quest for authentic expression are themes that unite these two artists, marking Banksy as a spiritual heir to Basquiat's defiant tradition. Person being Wiley, for contemporary portrayals of people of African descent in poses reminiscent of classical works, Wiley finds inspiration in Basquiat's bold and complex representation of identity. Wiley's approach, challenging stereotypes and celebrating diversity, reflects Basquiat's concern for giving voice to the black experience in a society that often marginalizes it. The resonance between their works reveals Basquiat's ability to transcend temporal boundaries and influence contemporary visual representations of racial identity. Walker is renowned for intricate silhouettes exploring racial and social dynamics. Walker shares thematic affinities with Basquiat. Both artists challenge conventional narratives exposing the complexities of the black experience in their works. Walker, like Basquiat, uses art as a means to explore deep issues of identity, power, and history. Basquiat's influence is evident in Walker's courage to confront difficult themes and her ability to transcend artistic categories. Basquiat explored the intersection of high and low culture, an approach echoed in Herring's creations. Known for stylized figures and distinctive graphic elements, Herring shares Basquiat's ability to bridge high art and popular culture. Both artists challenged established norms, using art as a medium to connect with diverse audiences. Basquiat's influence on Herring's approach to accessibility and visual communication is a clear homage to the tradition initiated by Basquiat on the streets of New York. Known for contemporary reinterpretations of classic works focused on black women, Thomas reflects Basquiat's influence on redefining the representation of women in art. Both artists challenge traditional stereotypes, celebrating the beauty and complexity of black women in their works. Thomas's exploration of identity, sexuality, and power has evident parallels with Basquiat's approach to the representation of blackness. Like a French street artist and photographer, J.R. shares Basquiat's preference for impactful visual expression and the use of public space as a canvas. Thomas's work, often incorporating portraits of local communities on monumental scales, resonates with Basquiat's bold approach on the streets of New York. The influence of the urban art icon is visible in how JR uses art as a means to give voice to communities and challenge conventional norms. The influence of Basquiat on contemporary art is as vast as it is diverse, demonstrating the depth and versatility of his legacy, whether in the streets of New York or in world-renowned gallery. Basquiat's presence continues to inspire artists to challenge, question, and express the complexities of the world we inhabit. His ability to transcend temporal boundaries and inspire creations in various forms of expression is a testament to the resilience and timelessness of his contribution to the art world. Jan Michael Basquiat, like the contemporary artists who revere him, remains a vibrant force that continues to shape the landscape of artistic creation. Exhibitions and posthumous recognition the premature death of John Michael Basquiat at the age of 27 in 1988 was a painful turning point, but also the beginning of a trajectory that would solidify his position as an icon of contemporary art. The posthumous exhibitions that followed, along with growing global recognition, shed light on the complexity and depth of Basquiat's work, transforming him from an ephemeral urban figure into a global icon. In this overview, we explore the key posthumous exhibitions that shaped Basquiat's narrative after his death and propelled his influence beyond the borders of New York. The first major posthumous exhibition of Basquiat took place in 1992 at the Whitney Museum of American Art in New York. Titled John Michael Basquiat, the retrospective was a comprehensive tribute to the diversity and intensity of the artist's work. Organized chronologically, the exhibition traced the evolution of Basquiat's career from his forays into the streets of New York to his final works. 
So Whitney was instrumental in solidifying Basquiat's status as an innovative and provocative force in the American art scene. The posthumous exhibition at the Whitney also initiated a critical dialogue about the conceptual layers present in Basquiat's works. Curators and critics began to unveil the symbolic and political depths in his seemingly spontaneous brushstrokes. Exploring these layers enriched the public's understanding of the complexity and contemporary relevance of Basquiat's work. The following year in 1993, a traveling posthumous exhibition organized by the Basquiat Foundation toured European cities such as Barcelona, Rotterdam, and Berlin. This itinerancy took Basquiat's art beyond American borders, introducing it to new audiences and consolidating his presence on the international stage. The enthusiastic response from European audiences was a precursor to the global recognition. The 1990s witnessed a steady increase in interest in Basquiat, culminating in 1996 with the exhibition Basquiat at the Museum of Contemporary Art, Los Angeles MoCA, created by Paul Skimmel. The exhibition brought together over 80 works by Basquiat, including paintings, drawings, and collaborations with Andy Warhol. This retrospective addressed not only the formal diversity of his work, but also its cultural impact and its role in breaking down barriers between street art and the artistic establishment. The end of the 20th century saw a deepening understanding of the historical and cultural richness in Basquiat's works. The exhibition Basquiat, a retrospective, held at the Brooklyn Museum in 2005, was a comprehensive attempt to contextualize the artist's work in relation to his influences, experiences, and the zeitgeist of the 1980s, curated by Mark Mayer. The exhibition highlighted the intrinsic relationship between Basquiat's life and his creations, revealing the depth of his historical and cultural references. Basquiat's global recognition reached new heights in the 2010s. The exhibition Basquiat, Boom for Real, held in 2017 at the Barbican Art Gallery in London, was a significant milestone. Curated by Dieter Butchart, the show explored the influence of hip-hop culture and the African diaspora on Basquiat's work. By highlighting the connections between his creations and the world around him, the exhibition brought a deeper appreciation of his legacy to an international audience. Another notable posthumous exhibition was Basquiat's A Defacement, the untold story at the Solomon R.A. Guggenheim Museum in 2019, focused on a single work, The Death of Michael Schur's 1983, the exhibition highlighted Basquiat's response to the killing of graffiti artist Michael Stewart by the police. In addition to delving into the artwork itself, the exhibition addressed issues of racial violence and social justice, expanding the social and political impact of Basquiat beyond the art sphere. In summary, Jean-Michael Basquiat's posthumous exhibitions not only shed light on his rich contribution to contemporary art, but also catalyzed global recognition of his genius. From the Whitney Museum to MoCA, from the Brooklyn Museum to the Barbican Art Gallery, these retrospectives not only celebrated his work, but also deepened our understanding of the conceptual and contextual layers that permeate his vibrant brushstrokes. Basquiat's international ascent, evidenced by acclaimed exhibitions and record-breaking auction values, is an ongoing narrative highlighting the timelessness and universality of his art, transcending time and borders to inspire present and future generations. The commercial valuation of John Michael Basquiat's works is a phenomenon that extends beyond the artistic realm, resonating economic, social, and cultural spheres. While the art market witnesses exorbitant figures at international auctions, this valuation not only transforms Basquiat's legacy into a valuable asset, but also sparks profound debates about the role of commercial value in the appreciation and interpretation. Basquiat's commercial trajectory gained prominence in the 1990s and 2000s as his works began to appear in auctions contested by collectors and investors. The piece untitled First 1981, notable for depicting a crown skull, was auctioned for over $110 million in 2017, a milestone that resonated globally. These stratospheric values, though, 
indicative of the growing recognition and demand for his art, raise questions about the effects of this valuation on the public understanding and access to Basquiat's work. The commercialization of Basquiat, while increasing the perceived value of his works, also highlights the complex dynamic between the artist and the market. What was once provocative street art becomes a coveted investment asset. The stigma associated with commercial art, often perceived as distant from Basquiat's original roots in the streets of New York, raises questions about how an artist's narrative is shaped and by whom. The impact of commercial valuation extends to the interpretation of Basquiat's work itself. The concentrated attention on the most expensive pieces often eclipses other facets of his artistic production. The dominant narrative, driven by record-breaking auction values, may favor certain works over others, distorting the public perception of the diversity and complexity of Basquiat's work. The pressure for his works to achieve astronomical values can also influence curatorial choices and the focus of exhibitions, contributing to a distorted and commodified view of his artistic contribution. The commercial valuation of Basquiat also raises questions about accessibility and inclusion in the appreciation of art. The exorbitant value of his works often makes them inaccessible to museums or public institutions, concentrating them in the hands of private collectors. This scenario creates a dichotomy between public appreciation of art and its transformation into a financial asset. The need to balance economic value with democratic access to Basquiat's work is a persistent challenge in the era of art commodification. The commercial valuation of Basquiat also impacts the nature of art collecting. Collectors, now viewing Basquiat's works as valuable investments, may be more inclined to keep them as financial assets rather than contributing to public enjoyment. This raises questions about the responsibility of collectors in preserving and disseminating cultural legacies, especially when art becomes a valuable commodity in speculative markets. In conclusion, the impact of the commercial valuation of John Michael Basquiat's works is a multifaceted phenomenon that transcends the art world. While driving global recognition of the artist, it also raises profound questions about the relationship between art, the market, and public appreciation. Financial valuation, although a testament to the lasting power of Basquiat's work, brings with it challenges and dilemmas inherent in balancing commercial value with artistic integrity. Basquiat's legacy, intrinsically linked to his artistic expression, is now immersed in the complex web of economic values and cultural narratives, shaping the perception of his work for present and future generations. Conclusion? The life art and work of John Michael Basquiat transcend the conventional boundaries of artistic experience, leaving behind an immortal legacy that resonates in galleries on the streets and in the minds of all those who venture to explore his vibrant world. His journey, marked by a unique fusion of street art, self-taught erudition, and a keen understanding of social complexities, represents a singular path that continues to inspire and provoke reflection. Basquiat's story begins on the streets of the Lower East Side of Manhattan where, under the pseudonym Samo, he made his mark as one of the pioneers of street art. This initial chapter, though ephemeral, served as a launchpad for an artistic career that would defy norms and transcend traditional categories. The myth of Samo as an echo of marginalized voices set the stage for a narrative that would unfold with each subsequent brushstroke self-taught and multilingual. Basquiat embodied a hunger for knowledge and an incessant quest for authentic expression. His art, a synthesis of cultural, historical, and personal references, not only challenged established canons, but also gave voice to his experience as a black man in a complex and ever-evolving society. The legendary collaboration with Andy Warhol, though brief, is an integral part of Basquiat's legacy. This intergenerational alliance, often mythified as a mentor-apprentice dynamic, reveals a unique intersection between two artistic icons. The fusion of styles, worlds, and perspectives creates a visual dialogue that transcends temporal barriers and continues to inspire discussions on collaboration, influence, and innovation. Basquiat's rapid ascent to artistic stardom 
marked by a transition from the streets to prestigious galleries, is a captivating tale. His ability to make an instant impact, to be recognized as a cultural icon in such a short period, confirms the revolutionary nature of his art. The myth of the instant artist, though simplified, is a metaphor for Basquiat's resilience and creative audacity. The crown skulls, recurring symbols in his works, have become emblems of his unique aesthetic. These icons, often laden with ambiguity, provoke diverse interpretations. The symbolic richness of the crown skulls reflects the depth of his creations, inviting the viewer to explore layers of meaning beyond the surface. Basquiat's vibrant nightlife and immersion in the New York art scene of the 80s contributed to the construction of the enigmatic persona of the artist. His interaction with musicians, artists, and cultural figures of the time not only illustrates the interconnection of artistic disciplines, but also reinforces the idea of Basquiat as a multifaceted cultural icon. The myth of self-destruction, unfortunately, is inseparable from Basquiat's narrative. His premature death, attributed to a heroin overdose, is a painful reminder of the complexity of the human condition and the often high price of genius. The tragedy of his death contributed to the romanticization of his figure, turning him into a, a kind of art martyr. Basquiat's posthumous recognition, marked by renowned exhibitions and astronomical values at auctions, reveals the timelessness and universality of his contribution to contemporary art. His legacy, far from being limited by geographical or temporal borders, is a vibrant force that continues to inspire artists, intellectuals, and art lovers worldwide. Ultimately, Jean-Michael Basquiat transcends the traditional role of the artist. His life was an act of rebellion, his art a form of intense communication, and his death, unfortunately, a brutal illustration of the complexities of human existence. His legacy, a tapestry of myths, symbols, and realities, is a timeless witness to the ability of art to transcend the ephemeral and become an immortal force in the global cultural narrative. Basquiat, with his bold expression and unique vision, remains a beacon for those seeking to challenge, question, and explore the boundaries of creativity. His life, art, and work continue to resonate as an eternal reminder of the transformative power of authentic artistic expression. And thus, we dive together into the fascinating universe of Basquiat, exploring the contours of his brilliant artistic and social contribution to humanity. If you too were enchanted by this journey, I invite you to become part of this passionate art community. Subscribe to the channel to not miss upcoming artistic explorations. Leave your like if this journey was inspiring, share with friends who love art. And of course, comment below sharing your own impressions and suggestions for future videos. We're together, let's continue unveiling the vast world of creativity. Until next time, and thank you for being part of this artistic journey with me. Art.